Today I'm going to talk about 1,3-diaxial strain and how it affects stability in cyclohexanes. So what is 1,3-diaxial strain? It's an interaction which is usually repulsive between axial constituents on a cyclohexane. Here I'm just demonstrating that the axial constituent groups will come straight out from the top of a carbon, but equatorial groups will come out from the side. So axial strain actually occurs because constituents in an axial position will be closer together than constituents in an equatorial position. This might be a little easier to visualize if we look at the cyclohexane from the top. So all of the red lines here are the equatorial positions on the cyclohexane. So the axial positions are going to be where I'm drawing purple dots here. And you can imagine that those are coming straight out toward us. And the ones at the blue dots are going straight back the other way. Here we have a methyl group in an up axial position on the cyclohexane. This methyl group is going to interact with the hydrogen in the other up axial positions on the molecule. And because it's bigger, it's going to repel them. Now this puts strain on the bond angles, creating a higher energy molecule, which is less stable. The important things to remember are any constituent group in an axial position will cause 1,3-diaxial strain. Larger groups cause more strain than smaller groups. And a confirmation that has a group in an axial position will have higher energy and be less stable than one with a group in an equatorial position.